Out on the street, there's a hierarchy of cool cars, happening motors to die for. Cars that say more about you than cash ever can. But there are plenty of cruds as well. Cars so bereft of cred, they should never have limped out of the showroom doors. Buying a car with a trendy image isn't vanity, it's good sense. Because getting tucked up with something that has all the charisma of a misfiring moped can damage not only your self-esteem, but your wedge too. Cool cars return big money come part exchange time. Those that aren't depreciate like falling girders. Here are half a dozen you shouldn't be seen dead in. It may have been around for two years, but people are still laughing. The sad-eyed Scorpio is so heroically ugly, it was obviously designed by Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder. Mind you, they don't drive badly, especially the 2.9s, but that styling, it's a run-a-mile job. Even company car drivers are turning away because the thing looks so unhappy. The old granny was a centerfold in comparison. And Scorpio build quality isn't anything to crow about either, with auto gearbox, power steering and electrical problems. Plus, depreciation is at best only average. In the world of small cars lives a big-time clunker. The Rover 100 and its pensionable ancestor, the Metro, are so past their sell-by date that they are literally beginning to whiff. Apart from the Zimmer frame image, a hundreds and metros are duller than a DAF. They depreciate fast and their design dates back to the mid-70s, which is why they came bottom in a recent Super Mini crash test. The dashboard looks like an early Doctor Who prop and the whole thing sways like a drunk on braking and acceleration. Buy a Micra or a Punto, but not this, because you'll find it as enjoyable as muesli without milk. Fancy a people carrier? Well, you won't when you drive this one. The only serene thing about the pudding-shaped Nissan Serena is that it'll make you want to have a long lie-down. A social services minibus with electric windows, it's noisy, thirsty, and about as seductive as a skip. Even Nissan dealers hate the diesel, and the petrol version is a real sluggard too. The Serena is the least regarded and fastest depreciating people carrier because it's simply as desirable as an old shoe. Medium-sized cars don't come much more sleep-inducing than the Volvo 440. No car has a right to be this dull. In the cred stakes, it scores a big fat zero, loses half its value in its first year, and surprisingly for a Volvo, has its fair share of reliability problems. This is the motoring equivalent of a Timazepam trip. Compared to a Mondeo or a Vectra, it hasn't got a hope. Be particularly careful of the CVT Auto, because it sounds like a bison with a migraine. For those actively seeking a charisma bypass, cue here. Now you might think an Escort convertible would increase your personal magnetism by at least 150%. Well, you'd be wrong. As driven by all Essex aerobic instructors, the Ann Summers Escort has all the class of a stale baby sham and cherry bee. It handles like a dog. You fall off the seats on corners, the engine sounds like a wounded rhino, and it is woefully unreliable. Hardly one of Ford's best efforts, this is one topless model that's had a facelift too many. Mountain climbers are meant to be fashion baubles, but the tepid Nissan Toronto has as much panache as a tumble dryer. Park it next to a Discovery, a Range Rover or a Jeep, and it'll look like what it is, just another wannabe off-roader. To its credit, the reliability is pretty good, better even than its identical twin sister, the Ford Maverick. But the Tirana's performance is wheezy, it's handling ragged, and it's a touch heavy on the old jungle juice. But this particular mud plugger's tragic flaw is, it's the most faceless 4x4 by far. 
Now, before you write in to say you don't give a stuff about image or street cred, a word in your shell-like. You will positively hemorrhage money by buying cars that aren't cool. And anyway, you pay enough for the privilege you should at the very least enjoy your motor. And that is the problem with this lot. A year behind the wheel of any of these will, I promise you, be about as much fun as the Inland Revenue Christmas party. You have been warned. Wow. <laughs>